Hi there, staff members from ISD 728. Today in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to import your students into GoGuardian so that you don't have to put up the code and you don't have to individually add email addresses. Now, what this video is not going to show you how to do is how to create your classrooms in GoGuardian. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you've already done that. And the next step then, of course, would be to add the students. So you can see here I've got five different classes set up for uh, my day. Um, so you're going to go ahead and already have that done. Um, there are videos within GoGuardian uh, that can show you how to do that. But what we want to do next is we want to add students. Now, this is a tricky process, um, but I think I've got it streamlined where you'll be able to just follow along with me and uh, go ahead and make the CSV file necessary to upload all of your students into a class at once. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to Schoology. So I've got three different tabs open here. I recommend you do something very similar. So you're going to want to open a tab and go to your Schoology course. I teach world history and I have four sections of that. So that's what you're seeing here. So go ahead and do that. If you need to pause this video and set that up, go ahead and do it. And when you're ready with your Schoology tab, then continue this video. Once we're ready to go, we're actually going to go into our gradebook. So click on gradebook over here on the left. And what we're going to see is way over on the right, we're going to see these three little dots right here. Now, for those of you who have sections linked, you're going to need to do this for each section. So again, I have four sections of world history. All four of them are listed here. So this would be my first hour, this is my third, this is my fifth, this is my sixth. I'm not really sure why it's organized that way, but that's irrelevant. Um, but I have my four sections here. So if I want to just do my first hour, I've got this one selected. And I am going to go click over here on these three little dots, and I'm going to click Export. When I do that, I get this option. I'm going to want to select Gradebook as CSV and I'm going to want to click next. Don't worry what, what any of this is, especially if you're not a Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets person, because I'm not, but you don't need to know all the fine details. You just need to know the process. So just click Gradebook as CSV and click next. What that has then done is downloaded my entire gradebook from Schoology into a CSV file. So if you notice here in Chrome, um, it has downloaded that for me. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to open this file. At least it should. There we go. Due to the screen casting, I believe that was getting in the way. So you have all your students' names, all of their scores on different assignments and things like that. And we don't need any of that. What we want is we want this list. So notice how I'm scrolling over all the way to the right. I'm going to start here. This is the beginning screen you see. And I'm scrolling over to the right till I get the students' usernames because this is what's going to make up their email address. And that's what ultimately what we need for GoGuardian. So watch this process carefully because it's actually pretty easy, though it can seem complex at first. I am going to highlight this whole list and I'm simply going to copy it. You can certainly do file, uh, or sorry, edit, copy, or command uh, C if you're more comfortable doing it that way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Chrome and notice how I've got Google Drive open here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a Google Sheets page. So I just have a folder that I created for CSV files. You can do that if you want to be organized. It doesn't really matter. But at this point in time, you're going to need to create new and go to Google Sheets, and you're creating a new Google Sheets spreadsheet. You're going to want to title it uh, just so you remember what it is. This can be first hour, um, whatever it is you want it to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and write in that A1 column, I am going to paste so I'm going to press Command V. I'm going to paste my list. And there's all of those students and their usernames. 
That's not good enough though. We need them to be email addresses. And what you can do is you can click on each one of them. You can add ISD7 at ISD728.org and go down the list and, and paste that in for each one of them. That's very cumbersome. I actually did that the first time around, but then I was shown this little trick. So what you want to do then is you're going to click in the B column in B1 and you're going to type in at isd728.org. That's it. Leave that for now and move on to C. Here we're going to do a little bit of Google Sheets, uh, Excel kind of trickery. And this is stuff that I didn't know. I was shown this and once I know it, it's, it's a really easy process. So again, just do it exactly what I'm doing here. So you're going to put in the equal sign and you're going to type in con concatenate, I think is how you say that. Never used that word before. Con and you can actually, it, it auto-populates here. So I'm going to click on that. And you get a little parentheses. So then you want to put A1, comma, B1 end parentheses. So do exactly what you see here. Concatenate parentheses A1 comma B1 parentheses. Do not put a space in there. Just leave it as it is. And we're done. So you notice what it did here? It automatically took this username from column A and added ISD 728. So it completed the email address. If we want to make this for all the rest of them, it's really easy. Let's click on this B1. See this little square here in the corner? Grab that and drag it all the way down. When we do that, it puts the at ISD728.org in all of those um, boxes. Now it's going to combine the two if we do that in the third column. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on the box. We're going to grab this little corner. We're going to drag it all the way down. Now you'll notice that every one of the students' email addresses is complete. The next thing we have to do is we have to take this column and we have to move it to the A column. So all you have to do is highlight column C like I have it here. I just clicked so I can click on B, I can click on C. Let's click on column C. You notice how the little hand pops up? I'm going to grab that column and I'm simply going to move it over here. So all I have done is moved column C over to column A. All I've done there. Um, and this is essential. You have to do this. I just expanded this too. You notice I grabbed this and expanded it just to make sure that all the email addresses stayed there as at isd728.org. We're almost done. There's two more steps. We're going to go to file. We're going to go to download as and we're going to download this as a comma separated value or CSV file. So I'm going to click on this and it saved it. It says first hour uh, sheet one CSV. This saved in my downloads. So make sure you know where these items are saving because you're going to access them in GoGuardian. So we have now created the list of student email addresses that we need to upload into GoGuardian. So I'm going to go into GoGuardian. I had another tab open already. And I'm going to click on one of my classes. This is my first hour class. I just saved my first hour list. So let's go into that one. Now I've already done this. So I've already got my students in there. And I'm not going to upload them again. But I'm going to show you how you would upload them. And it's so easy once you're at this point. So you're going to click Add Students right here. And you are going to click Upload CSV. So I'll click that. And just like you would attach uh, an att um, add an attachment to an email, you're going to choose File here. And now you have to find that document that we just made. Again, mine were in my downloads, so that's likely where yours are. But um, here, if I look at my list, I had named it. Again, we have it right down here so I can show you. First hour sheet one dot CSV. Um, you can see that right here. All I would do is click on that, click open, and it will upload every one of those students to that class. So you don't have to enroll those students individually. You don't have to have them type in a code. They will be in your 
hour that you have set up your classroom in Go Guardian so that you can monitor their screens. So it's a really easy process that seems really, really complex. You don't have to know uh, Excel and Google Sheets to master this. All you have to do is follow this step by step. Um, so again, go ahead and rewind and, and double check uh, if some of the steps seem confusing to you, but this is what you'll want to do to upload all of your students into GoGuardian at once in each of your classrooms. Okay, hope that helps you. If you have any questions, certainly uh, see your tech mentors. Um, you can email me. I'm Carl Sagan, carl.sagan at isd728.org. Um, or you can talk to one of your district um, technology integration specialists like Pam, Tony, or Paul. So good luck.